And as the latest scam of land grab hit the Indian Army, directly indicting Northern Commander Chief Lieutenant General K.T. Parnaik, Defence Minister K. Antony has now stepped in to make attempts to save the Army's face and dig up the truth. Well, sources are telling headlines today that a concerned defence minister had ordered an unofficial inquiry into the allegations against the army commander. Sources say that the discreet probe will be conducted under the defence secretary who will be in liaison with the army to determine the facts. The move comes a day after documents available with India Today exposed how Lieutenant General Parnaik had allegedly falsified his residential address to claim free agricultural land from the Rajasthan state government. The documents were obtained from the state government under the Right to Information Act by a deceased soldier's family. And this family levels an even graver charge against General Parnaik. They say the retired soldier was harassed by the general for speaking up against land allotment. He heads the Indian Army's largest and most important command. But Lieutenant General Kevalya Trivikram Parnaik is now at the center of a land scam. Documents with headlines today reveal that the Northern Army commander allegedly falsified his residential address to claim free land from the Rajasthan government. In September 2006, General Parnaik wrote to the state government of Rajasthan asking for 25 bigas of land. He was entitled to this being a recipient of the Uttam Yudh Seva medal in 2002 for Op Parakram. However, when he claimed the 25 vigas of land in 2009, he furnished false addresses in two sworn affidavits to the state government. While applying for the land in Jaisalmer, the Lieutenant General had claimed that he had lived in Rajasthan for 10 years, a precondition for the allotment of land. But when headlines today visited the two addresses, we found the truth to be something else. वो सब गलत है उन्हें हमारे फादर है 75 से यहां रह रहे हैं उनसे हमारा कोई रिलेशन नहीं है दूर दूर तक इंडिया टुडे एंड हेडलाइंस टुडे इन्वेस्टिगेशंस हैव रिवील्ड on 26 January 2003, the general was awarded a Yudh Seva medal. He commanded a brigade during a Parakram. Because of this medal, he is entitled, he was entitled to some land in Rajasthan. He furnished two letters. He claimed that he lived at this address, 3 KH6 Jawahar Nagar Jaipur, before he received the Yudh Seva medal. Was this the complete truth? Or was the general being economical with the truth? Again, on 30th September 2009, general gave a sworn affidavit that his address had changed to 3KA6. Again in Jawahar Nagar, in Jaipur, Rajasthan. The general was allotted those 25 bighas of land and 4,000 rupees for bravery. But headlines today and India Today investigations have revealed that the general never lived at the second address and he did not live at the first address either at the time that he was awarded the Yudh Seva medal. This, these letters he wrote when he was commanding a mountain division in the northeast, then again in 2010. In November 2009 and then in March 2010, General Parnayak got the land award allotted from the state government. The documents that nail Lieutenant General Parnayak's lie were obtained from the state government under the Right to Information Act by a deceased soldier's family. Subedar Major retired. Rajendra Singh Shekhawat died after suffering a brain stroke in a military hospital in Delhi on the 2nd of July 2012. His family alleges he was harassed after his retirement on the 31st of March 2012 for speaking out about the General's land allotment. He belonged to Lieutenant General Parnayak's Rajputana Rifles Regiment. राजस्थान में जिस एड्रेस का इन्होंने हवाला दिया अपने आपको डोमिसाइल प्रूव करने के लिए उस एड्रेस पर इनका कोई नाता ही नहीं है जनरल प्रनायक हाउएवर हैज डिसमिस्ड द एलिगेशंस ही सेज दैट द एड्रेस ऑन द एफिडेविट वाज अ मिस्टेक द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट हैज टोल्ड इंडिया टुडे इट वेंट बाय द साइंड एंड स्वॉन एफिडेविट प्रोवाइडेड बाय जनरल प्रनायक टू ग्रांट हिम द लैंड बट द राइट टू इंफॉर्मेशन एप्लीकेंट क्लेम्स जनरल प्रनायक स्नैप्ड हिज टाइज विद जयपुर in 2002 when his father sold his house in Jaipur. It is time for India's second most important general to put these doubts to rest. With Sandeep Unithan in Delhi and Devankur Vadhavan in Jaipur, Bureau Report, Headlines Today.